In this video, we will use the water table fluctuation method to estimate recharge. You will need groundwater levels, Microsoft Excel, and precipitation to calculate recharge as a percentage of precipitation. If you don't have precipitation values for your data, see the section on how to download them. Open the water table fluctuation method file. It contains four tabs. These are groundwater levels measured in four communities. Here, we will be measuring the decline of the groundwater levels and then the height to the next peak. If you're interested in more background and detail on this method, see the section in the instruction manual. The specific yield values that are needed for the water table fluctuation approach are given here in this chart and here on the last page. These are values for similar areas with similar geology, for example, an area in Zimbabwe in the medium range, an area in Australia in a lower range, smaller values, and then an area in Ghana with higher values. We'll use all of these for a range. You can print these charts and sketch this by hand. That might be the easiest. We'll do these in Excel. That's why this might be easier to do on paper. This method requires that you follow the curve of the data. Okay, we'll try this one for now. Let's insert a line and we'll measure the height from the top to the bottom and we'll make it orange so we can see. Here we have 0.2, let's say 0.4 meters. We have the recharge in millimeters, meters and millimeters, and then as percent of the precipitation. Okay. This actually, this line might need to go lower, but we'll come back to it. Let's go to the next tab. Okay, this line's a little straighter. We'll still use the curve. You can see how doing this method several times and also several different people will give you different values. Oh, we changed the color, that's okay. All right, so here we have half a meter, one, two, let's use 2.5. save. Let's try, this one should almost maybe be a little straighter also. Okay. Curve. Okay, move this. All right, now let's insert the line. orange. All right. One meter, two meters, two and a half, two and three quarters. So let's try 2.75. And for the final one, Terry Bogu, we'll also use a curve. Okay, one, two, three, four, four and a half. 
so we have a range of recharge estimates. Um, these are for areas of similar geology in Ghana, 20 to 30 percent. These estimates here are more conservative. And these are estimates of similar geology in other locations. Let's compare with these. Here we have, again, estimates of areas in Ghana that are similar. These are similar geologies in other areas. Slightly lower here, similar areas. And this is the lowest, this one we might want to do again. I won't do that in the video, but this is something you should practice and take time with.